to be guys like my new hairstyle. This is all my hair. I can't believe it. Bruh. So today we're going to talk about makeup myths. Now, these are just things that grind my gears. Also, like, when people be like, oh, I don't drink Starbucks because I don't like coffee. And us Starbucks people, we're like, they don't only have coffee. You don't go to Starbucks because you would have knew. Anyway, <laughs> a whole tangent. Like, it's stuff about makeup that I hear people who don't wear makeup say, like, they know about the makeup world. And I'm just like that's not true that's not that's not true like so I'm gonna tell you guys makeup myths this video is gonna help you out and it's probably gonna shock you because a lot of things people really believe are just not true as I said in my last video I am I have a tonsil infection so my voice is a little weird so the first myth is I don't wear makeup because it breaks me out because I don't want no pimples because my skin is too nice what? I just like I just hate this myth because the girls that I know that fleek makeup the best have the most perfect skin. Like the most perfect the most perfect skin. Where Anne Reezy wears makeup every single day has perfect skin. She doesn't have acne, she doesn't have breakouts. We all get breakouts here and there for hormonal reasons, but I don't think makeup as a whole makes you break out. Makeup is something you have to be very hygienic with as in you have to frequently wash your makeup brushes you have to make sure you know what's in the ingredients of what you're putting on your face that you're not allergic to it you have to make sure that you sanitize everything and what you use you can't just dig in the same palette a million times that your friends borrow it get it back the, you can't let people borrow your mascara like you just can't do stuff like that you have to be very hygienic with makeup and if you are, you will not break out. Also, if you use primers and stuff like that. And also, never sleep in your makeup because that's a bound to give you a bunch of pimples. Like, you just have to be hygienic with makeup. So, that is definitely a myth. Makeup does not give you breakouts unless if you're practicing with makeup the right way. Another myth about makeup is that, you know, people, girls always say this. I don't go to MAC because they're too expensive. I only go to Sephora. This is not true. Like, this is a total myth. This is something you've probably heard from someone and someone else co-signed it and you just believe it now, but this is not real. First of all, Sephora has the most expensive makeup out there. <laughs> Sephora has the most expensive makeup. The cheapest thing in Sephora is, the o is only the Sephora line. And you will go to Sephora and be very disappointed when you realize MAC lipstick is only $16. $16? But YSL lipstick is 35 Seriously, MAC is not that expensive. MAC is probably inexpensive. I call it like mid-range. It's not drugstore prices, but it's not high-end like, you know, Dior or Givenchy. Their eyeshadows are only 6 bucks. Like, I don't feel like... Pe there's just a stigma with MAC that they're expensive and they're really not. Do you guys like my nails? Like, they're holographic. Can you, can you see the holographicness? Anyway, let's focus. Another myth is that you need to contour and highlight. You do not need to contour and highlight. Like, you do not need to do it. If you have a chiseled face, like, I don't need to highlight and contour. I just like the look. If you like the look, then go ahead. But you can just dab a little bit of foundation, dab a little concealer, dab a little this. Every time we do your makeup, you do not need to highlight and contour and chisel. And you don't need to do that. I'm going to have one of those on my channel, like, when I don't want to wear makeup and I'm wearing a little bit of makeup you can just put like concealer on your dark spots or any spots you want to conceal a little bit under your eyes if you have dark circles and then throw on a powder throw on a little um of this highlight do your brows cut mascara head out the door like you don't need full foundation highlight contour lashes like you don't need all that and I know us as like beauty gurus or like beauty girls on Instagram and stuff like that, we make it seem like you need all that, but you really don't. Another makeup myth is that false lashes rip out your actual lashes. This is not true. This is not true. This is not true. This is not true. Look at my lashes. I wear falsies all the time. And I'm telling you, if you do the right things, use the right glue. Now. 
a lot of people will probably judge me because of what I'm about to show you, but this is a tip. I use hair glue, actually. This is weave glue. This is 30 second super hair bond glue, professional speed. This is, <laughs> this is actually hair glue and Aaliyah Jade uses this and this is a dollar at the beauty supply store. I've been using this for two years of me doing my makeup. I've been wearing falsies, nothing ever happened to my eye. Trust me, this is no more dangerous than the regular eyelash glue you're putting on your eye. The thing I like about this is, I'm about to show you. Look, it's on my skin, right? Let it dry, let it dry. It rubs right off, so it doesn't pull out your lashes. Unless, I don't know if you keep it on there for like a day. I do not sleep with my lashes. Please don't sleep with your strip lashes, because like, no. I don't sleep with my strip lashes. I take them off. I remove them every day. And when I remove them, I remo I wear this glue, which this glue, look, it, it rubs right off. You see how it came right off? Like, I didn't even have to peel. It, it's like, it rubs right off your skin. It doesn't, it's not meant to stay on skin, so it rubs right off. So, just use a certain glue. Do not rip them out. Try to massage some oil in there and gently take them off. They will not rip out your regular lashes, girl. Just please. This one is for like makeup girls who like just got into makeup and they really like doing the highlight contour on fleek wing liner, lashes, all that, all that. They think that when you wear eyelashes, you have to wear liner. Like you have to put liner over the lash. This is not true. This is not true at all. If you perfect putting on a lash and if you use certain lashes if you use lashes like these do you see how this doesn't have a thick black band it's just that invisible band i love lashes like these because these you can really put it close to your lash line and it'll be seamless with just a little bit of glue it'll be seamless i'm telling you i don't know about if you use like white lash glue and you're trying to hide the line but that's why i like this black glue and i would suggest black lash glue Put this very close, to, very close to your lash line and pinch it together with your lashes. You do not need to add a thick line because I feel like that's not telling you. That's not hiding your lash band. That's just no one naturally has a line on their eyes. So that's just you have on makeup. Like you get what I'm saying? And trust me, I wear these lashes sometimes and I put them very close to my lash line and people think they're my real eyelashes. Or I just use individual eyelashes. But you do not need to add a line on top of your eye. Or you don't have to do a wing when you wear lashes. Now this last myth uh, has taken Instagram by storm. YouTube by storm. Ever since this whole makeup tutorial trend thing has been going on. So this myth is that you need to bake. You do not need to bake. Especially if you're not going nowhere. Especially, I can understand if like, say you have oily skin, you probably need to bake. Or if you have, or even if you don't have oily skin, but you're going to be wearing your makeup all day, you would probably prefer to bake. If you're just wearing makeup day to day, I did not bake today and my makeup is on fleek. And that's because I have dry skin. Dry skin girls, you do not need to bake because I see so much times like a, a girls will wear makeup their, their foundation was probably beautiful they their concealer was probably beautiful and then they bake and then their their skin just looks very dry and crepey and it doesn't look like skin anymore because it's so dry you know what i mean your face has natural oils through the day when you move it certain places like the light catches it that's because your face is not supposed to be completely matte it's not supposed to be completely dry looking. Mostly people do that when they're like under hot lights or when they're filming or something that might make them perspire or they have oily skin that produces a lot of oil and they don't want to get caught looking oily. Good thing is dewy skin is in trend right now, especially in the makeup world. Everyone wants to look like a dewy supermodel, have hella highlight. So you don't even need to like go that hard on baking anymore. But yeah, that is my makeup miss. Why am I? What is that? That is my makeup miss video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys next time.